What's up my online viewer friend anonymous people? This video is just an in-between video unscripted where we're just going to have a nice little heart to heart between you and I. I just want to explain where I'm coming from, what I'm thinking about and ask you the question, what do you what do you want to see from me? Because there's always been this dilemma with me on YouTube. There's the videos I want to make there's the videos I'm capable of making, and then there's the videos that do good, and sometimes these three, I mean, the best the best time is when all three uh, line up, which has happened a few times on this channel, at least from where I'm standing, like, they get thousands of views instead of hundreds, but one of the best videos I ever had was at the very beginning, I had no idea what I was doing, and it was just like a random talk about the GoPro 10. It did super good. I deleted it because it was so embarrassing once I sort of figured out how to do things. And that and that was a while ago at this point. For some reason, this camera's autofocus has been super weird lately. It's a ZV-E10. It's Sony. It does great, but it seems like it's been doing worse than usual for some reason lately. I'm not sure why. There's no firmware update. I'm using the same lens. But anyways... I have lots of different obsessions, right? And one of the things I really like about making videos on YouTube or in general is like writing the script and just figuring things out. And sometimes I can convey them, sometimes I can't, but it gives me an excuse to learn things. And I've been learning things since the beginning of my journey. I mean, that's kind of what filmmaking's all about is solving puzzle. It's like a puzzle and you're solving problems and you you're doing stuff, but then there's also the topic. And harder more complex the topic that you're that you're making or you're trying to do a video about, harder the video is to make and harder it is to make sense. But I'm also obsessed with the software I use and all the meta stuff from YouTube. I love cameras. I love technology. I love humanity meets technology, aka my niche, I, I think. The one that I've been doing for the last what, however many videos. If you watch my last video, I'm not sure, I just released it the day filming this i don't know when this video is going to be released hopefully you know it's kind of laid back video so probably pretty soon i don't know how well it did and the other video before that which was about how software doesn't matter as long as you get done what you need to get done with it is is what matters was the video before that and that one took a while to get going so this one's going to probably take a while to get going but it's like you know, I'm I, like right now I'm in a point where because I said I was going to do it and I've already started like three videos and depending on how I feel in the moment, I go and I, I like I, I'm working on a video about Y2K. I'm working on a video about the different times people said the rapture was going to happen within the last hundred years the most famous of those times and then i'm thinking about all these other different times like the mayan pyramids i haven't really started it but i'm thinking about that 2012 which was something that i was that was like the one that i was into that was like my generation and i was like yeah party time because the world's gonna end in 2012 i didn't really believe that necessarily but i played with the idea a lot and did use it as an excuse to party hard at times so those are three different videos that I want to make within the end of the world playlist and uh, they I can move technology and humanity it kind of niches down into all of that and it gives me something to work on when I'm out of ideas or I don't know what to work on however I c like I'm also doing a bunch of stuff like I'm redoing my desk do you guys want to see that like I'm always upgrading stuff like I'm not rich so I <laughs> like <laughs> the desk I have is one that my mom gave me that she got from like a church or something and last summer I rebuffed it out and it's beautiful and they straight up do not make desks like this like you cannot like you can buy one from like a thrift store or like some sort of furniture place and I'm sure there's like furniture makers that do that for a living that make unique pieces that make desks like this I want a standing desk but even if I had a million dollars it would be hard like I would have to buy like really expensive hydraulics to like self make and like take my desk apart and put hydraulics under it. That's the only way I could get a desk this nice that also stands. What I'm getting at is like I could show you all that stuff. It's two different directions and right now because I don't have that many viewers I'm going to do the end of the world playlist 
but I'm also going to do videos about software and videos about whatever different topics I'm making. I also have like another video that I'm making about what if presidents, I don't know, I guess I don't want to give it away. I mean, I could go in a lot of different directions. I, I could, I could start teaching DaVinci Resolve, but I just don't know what you guys would like to see from me but i'll show i'll show you my desk yeah there's my desk it's so beautiful i buffed it out it, it was nice before but like now it's it's so it's so smooth and nice and my face is blown out because it was adjusted for out there but yeah there's my computer i built it it has has some gear in it and there's my old laptop that i've ran linux on and now it doesn't yeah it has nothing on it right now i'm gonna probably reform it with like pop os or something I thought about doing a video about the speed editor a whole bunch of times because i love the cut page but it's missing a real multi-cam clip i i don't understand why it it like they just need to change a few things about the cut page it's never going to replace the edit page but i could see myself spending a lot more time on the cut page i always love an excuse to like move that dial thing is is that whoa the thing is, is like, I do love gear, but there's just, I mean, you can go to Amazon and watch reviews, huh, baby? And uh, everybody, it's just like, there's so many channels that are the same, so I've never really wanted to be the same. Sorry, it's like all crooked. Like, I agree with the statement that you can be sometimes more creative within strengths, but I just feel like there's so many channels that talk about softwares and gear and blah 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 so i've never really wanted to be one at the same time i do feel like i sometimes make videos harder than they need to be i could make videos just like this i've seen people there's people that like talk about finance or whatever and it's a bad example because i know nothing about finance but there's people that just sit there and talk and are much more successful than i am i mean the number one complaint i get on my channel is that it's over edited and there's too many sound effects that are that's distracting so maybe i'm just like making this stuff harder than it needs to be even though i i like that part i like to edit i do i do feel like i'm over sound effecting or not over sound effecting but making the sound effects too loud because you know sound effects are great like i feel like that's what really differentiates like a professional editor versus an amateur but if you're noticing the sound effects that's my fault so i need to get better at that use different sound effects buy better sound effect packs i actually make a lot of my own sound effects and i need to like make different sound effects because that's what's so cool about sound effects and effects and editing and all that is you make it yourself i love the creative outlet aspect of it but i also love the community aspect of it and youtube is like so great because people can leave comments like the interaction between other creators and our viewers and me commenting as a viewer and all that stuff it's like if you watch a show on netflix sometimes i just want to leave a comment and but but i can't there's also like a platform called nebula i really like the platform i do pay for it it's very cheap compared to like youtube premium right and a lot of my favorite creators are on that platform. Like most of the videos are on Nebula and YouTube, but a lot of the times, even though I like to support the creators, that's why I pay for it. And I really like the platform. There's no comments, there's no thumbs up, there's no thumbs down, there's no interactions. Yeah, I wanna buy those drawers off of Amazon, but the thing is about Amazon is one, it's super evil, and two, I don't know if they'll fit. Like it's a good idea to replace those drawers with little skinny pullout drawers, that'd be so cool. And the whole idea is so I can fit that computer under there and get it managed. And I don't want it too close because I don't want it directly on the carpet sucking up all that dust. And I have a plan for that, but there's just not enough room under the desk for that full tower. And that tower is a little more than full because there's an air gap where the filter is and the AIO. I wish there was a local place that sold things like that, like an Amazon store that wasn't Amazon. I almost feel like buying from the TikTok shop, basically anywhere else, is at least slightly less evil than buying from Amazon. But Amazon's so convenient. It's so convenient. And the free shipping if you buy something over $50 which always makes me spend more. It's, I mean, that's a brilliant thing they did. Do you want me to make a video about that? I love this angle and you probably already can tell if you've seen some of my other videos, but what do you think, YouTube? What do you think, guys? Did I, did I screw up in some way? What do you want to see from me? Should I concentrate on more complex topics or do you want to 
like learn about DaVinci Resolve, steer the ship. You're the boss. You're the boss. You're the boss. You're not paying me yet, but you're the boss. You're the audience. You're who I make it for. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll either see you in the next video or see you in the next live.